You're driving down the street or the freeway and you run over a nail. What do you do? Do you go buy a new tire? Do you go to the shop? Or do you fix it yourself? Today, I'm going to show you how you can fix it yourself. With the assistance of this bag, there's a portable air compressor and a tubeless tire repair kit. I'm going to show you how you extract the nail, plug the hole, pump the tire back up to get you, to get you going. Let's get started. Inside this bag is the tubeless tire repair kit and also the air compressor. We'll get to that later. Okay, let's look at your tubeless tire repair kit. Here are your parts. This is called a reamer. That's what goes in and makes the hole big enough to take the plugs. Then you have your plugs. You have your cement glue. You have your knife to cut the plugs off. Be careful, very sharp razor blade. And then you have your hook. As you see, right here is a nail. And what's the odds that I'm gonna get two nails at the same time? That's ridiculous. This particular nail, it's a little bigger and it's easier to get to. So I'm gonna focus on the one that's a little harder. I simply have is a cap of water. I'm gonna pour the water and we, we should see it bubbling. As you can see, it is bubbling. I can see that it is bubbling. So we know that this particular nail is causing the air to leak out. So this is the one we're gonna repair. It's a good idea to have everything set up so as soon as you extract the nail, you can just insert the plug. What you do, you take your plug and you insert it into the hook. What I had to do is I just slid it in and then pulled it through. Then, as soon as you pull the nail out, like I said, you're going to resize the hole with the reamer. As you can see, the reamer is almost the size of the plugs. And we're going to put glue over these plugs. And then as soon as you stick the plug in, it goes like this. And then you can see these little, the opening right here on the bottom of the hook. So when you pull out, it will pull off of the plug. Then you use the plug, I'm sorry, then you use the blade to cut off the excess plug. In a perfect world, you would want a floor jack, a breaker bar, a torque wrench, goggles, a pick set, a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, your actual tire repair kit, a tire gauge, and a air compressor. But sometimes in the real world, you don't have all that stuff with you. So I'm gonna use the jack set that came with the car, that's the jack, the jack kit. I'm going to use a portable air compressor, a pick set, goggles, pliers, screwdriver, the tire repair kit, and the tire gauge. So I'm gonna use the pick, see if I could pick it out. You know, Finally sticking out. As you can see, so that's why you want to be ready. So right now I'm just resizing the hole. I've already glued, I've already glued the plug, and now I'm just going to stick the plug in. Pull this out, you're going to hear all the air. Now that you have the plug in there, you get your blade, again, be very careful, and you just want to cut right along the top of the tire, you're just cutting off the plug, and so let's test this plug now, 
I'm going to get some water and we're going to pour it on there and see if it's leaking. See if it's bubbling at all. And zero bubbling. Okay, good. That was the hard part, which really wasn't that hard. So we took the nail out, we plugged it, and now it's time to inflate the tire. Just to let you know, this particular tire takes, it can go up to 51 PSI. I just checked it right now, it's at 10 PSI. So it took me a little while to, to get the air back, uh, to plug the tire, so a lot of air did escape. So you're gonna need some way to pump the tire back up. That's why I'm about to use this portable air compressor that I carry around in my car all the time. I actually made a video on this particular one and I'll leave that in the link. really like this thing. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out of this bag, I'm going to plug it in, plug it into the 12 volt cigarette lighter. Uh, some people say 12 volt, some people say cigarette lighter. I'm going to plug this into the 12 volt and uh, it'll pump the tire up and then I'll recheck the air pressure and then uh, you're all done. Okay, the entire time I've been checking to see if any air was coming out and the, the plugs seem to be holding up just fine. The air compressor is reading at 40, the gauge on the air compressor was reading at uh, 48 and the one I just checked said 46 so that one's a little off. But it pumped the tire all the way back up to 46 psi and no air is coming out so I'm happy uh, one thing I forgot to mention where this particular plug was I mean where this particular nail it was in the center of the tire you never want to plug a tire where the nail is on the outside so this nail was in a good location for me to plug the tire which is in the center tray and that's just how simple it is to repair your own flat, to take a nail out, to plug it, if you have a portable air compressor, to pump it up. Maybe you're on the side of the road and you need to do this on the side of the road or if you're off-roading or something. So, as usual, I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll get back at you. You guys have a good one.